I have a Zone, a Zone OS, and two Zone GTs. The Zone is the absolute best approach disc in the game of disc golf since its dawn of creation. It feels good, flies great, and has that reliable consistency that we demand from 300 feet and in. It's the perfect balance of stability for backhand and torque resistance with its flat top for forehand. The Zone OS, on the other hand, is the somewhat newly released, absolutely yoked younger brother of the OG Zone. If this bad boy was in human form, he would be six foot five, 260 pounds of solid muscle. It has a taller stack height and wider rim width than the original Zone, which makes it slow down faster with an extremely more oval stable finish. Some would say too much so. And that's exactly where the Zone GTs come in. They're that middle child that no family really wants, but low key kind of needs. They're a little bit different, but they might just be the sweet spot in the family. The thing here is we have twin Zone GTs but we only get to keep one. The ring top zone is very similar to the OG with just a slight bevelish edge on the rim. The bang top, on the other hand, might have been dropped as a baby. This guy has a groove in the flight plate that makes it look absolutely ridiculous, but it might just be the perfect fit for your thumb depending on your backhand grip. And if you have a split grip forehand, it might be the winning ticket. I feel like the bang top is kind of a clown and if you wanna have fun, this might be perfect but the ring top, it just kind of gets the job done. Okay, enough shenanigans. I know you guys want to see these discs fly. Here are some dinky shots just to show what they will fly like on an upshot throw. Uh, trying to get every disc kind of the same speed and like flat release. Here are some forehands to show that they do in fact still fly great even when spinning the opposite direction. Pretty crazy stuff, I know. And then now trying to bump up the speed to a more full throw. And you'll see that the Zone GTs do fit very well in between the slightly oval stable zone and then the super, super oval stable uh, Zone OS. In conclusion, the Zone is perfect. The Zone OS is a beefcake but needed. And both Zone GTs are great and both fill that void in between the other two. I think it's mostly going to come down to feel. I've definitely been having a lot of fun trying both of these out. Go check out my recent Zone GT Battle Pack battle video that I recently did with Adam Hammes and Aaron Gossage. If, uh, if you want to see kind of some more shots on how these actually fly if you haven't already. I think I know which Zone GT I'd vote for since it actually might make my bag. But make sure you pick up your own Zone GT Battle Pack on October 27th so you can test them out and decide for yourself. Don't forget to vote. There can only be one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.